guys, welcome back to Colin's Garage. Here are the fire farmers still in their farm. There aren't as many members anymore. If I turn it around, there's only a few in the main chamber. That's because they're starting to die out. They've reached, they've almost reached their max lifespan. Three months. I have maybe a few weeks with them left. Gave them these three little hunks of banana and the sexypod in here. They're running around. A lot of them have died. I counted about 10 dead far harvester ants in their burial site. And about 20 dead isopods. And I can't clean it up because I have no access to here without letting all the ants go. So sure, there are a lot of ants hiding down in here. We can't see them that well. I probably shouldn't have put the dirt in the one time. Because I can't see them that well, but there are lots of them in here. There are quite a few. Probably like just about maybe 15 left. They're sadly dying out. Day after day, there's at least another death. So I gave them this big gift here. I stopped seeing ants forage for it and I just see dead bodies. I'm going to know the last time I ever died out. We're sadly losing numbers. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to quit from the ant keeping hobby because I did get a new test tube that's specifically designed for housing queen ants. And I'm going to start a um, Fedoli Bilanchanteris ant colony starting this summer. I'm going to be scouring Pittsburgh to find one. And I do have another video coming out in the same day if you're watching this one. It's the new Pokemon opening I'm doing. 60 cards by Ken Rock V. Go check that out. But, um, yeah. I'm s still with losses. Or what's the saying? With, um, old losses becomes new beginnings, right? Right? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Whatever the saying is, there will be <clears throat> guaranteed by the end of the summer a Fadoli Bilotrontorus colony. And they can live up to 10 years in captivity. So, you keep them in a nice, big, captive setup. Nice, big setup. So they're going to be able to just um, do what they want to do, and I know just how I'm going to house them, though. So if you want to see those ants, just wait. <laughs> just wait. I just need you to wait, because I'm going to do them soon. I'm going to get them on the channel. They are big-headed ants. Fadoli is the big-headed ant genus, and those are Fadoli bilochanteris. Native to the entire U.S. and a little bit of Canada, so... No issues in releasing them if I need to. And they are found down here, so I will be on the lookout for one down here. Mainly, I'm going to be look on the lookout in Pittsburgh, though. But not to spoil another main channel video, if I already said this, I don't think I already said this, but there's a Charizard Battled Academy deck that I'm going to be opening this summer when I'm up at my grandma's house. So... You, if you're going to enjoy seeing me open 440 cards, plus two Charizards, then just stay tuned for like two more months. Not even two months, like only a few weeks. Let's see, so it's the 11th. No, it's not the 11th, it's the 13th. Hang on. Um, ah. Yeah, it's the 13th. 12 days for leaving, so probably in 12 to 13 days be on the lookout for a new video, Charizard Battle Academy deck opening, but this is sad news that the fire farmers are finally dying out, but with, um, the, but with them dying means I can always, you know, get another one of these because they are pretty cheap. Add it on, like do the little connection, because you can do that. So like, there could be this one here, 
the old fields of the fields of flames and then I can attach a new one a new one of these to the other side and they can be in that one and this time I'd order and this time I'm going to order two tubes two two not one not one so those ants will last way longer than the fire farmers yeah um there is the isopods arc this one that what that you saw trying to crawl in this tube is kind of clogging it up there is a dead body down there that they can't seem to take down or they can't find room in their old burial site so they're moving it down in their nest it's not good can't clean it out it's annoying anyways um i will see you guys in a few hours actually in this next video Whoa, there's an isopod up here. No way the ants are letting the isopod eat the banana. That's so cool. That's actually incredible. I I tried introducing isopods to their setup before, but they just killed them all. Now with like 20 isopods, they're letting a bunch live in here. There's like three right here, one here. There's probably two or three in there. So I'll see you guys in the next video in a few hours. Also, I wanted to give you guys an announcement. I have an earwig in here. Somewhere. I named him Earwig Bro. If I can find Earwig Bro, that would be helpful. Probably in his little leaf, which he's which he hangs out in a lot. See him? I don't know. I don't know where he is. I can't open I can't open this. Maybe he's on his banana piece. I don't know. Uh, this is the ant farm. I'm keeping the scavenger ants in. I'm not sure if the queen of Montemorium Minimum is still alive. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any workers. I will soon. Alright. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.